uh, is Federico De Rosso. I'm an architect, founder of Federico De Rosso Architects. Uh, when I, since when I was uh, very young, in my childhood, I was uh, spending a lot of time in summer at my grandfather's workshop. He was a mill worker, he was uh, working in a mechanical industry. And uh, since that, that age, I was really fascinated about what he was doing. So uh, I learned a lot of things from him. I learned how to respect the material, how to respect the proportion, how to respect the uh, machinery. And uh, then I, my passion moved to motorsport. That uh, was, was, was my best passion, it is still alive in me. And uh, and then I, in that, in my young age, till when I was like 18, 19, I started racing, and I needed to to, to 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 work for that to pay for my passion. And I started working with my father. My father was a surveyor. He was uh, running a small office uh, dedicated to small projects. And then I started. Then I worked for five, six years uh, with him. And then I decided to. Uh, study architecture because I discovered my passion for that and then I study architecture during working and then so I, 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 I grew up studying and working and uh, when I graduated a few years later uh, I already uh, I was already working since 10 12 years so my experience was already uh, good enough to start immediately my own firm the architecture I tried to transfer when I learned on my racing, on, my, on motorsport, it was a kind of education of uh, how to dedicate 100% of yourself to reach what you really want. So I tried to transfer the, the idea of reaching a limit, my, my personal limit is not a, an absolute limit, it's my personal, in architecture or in design. So the idea to reach a perfection of that project in that time, in that moment, for, for, for you, for yourself, when you feel in your stomach that it's something that you, it, it's exciting, that's the kind of breaking point for me. So that's the, 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 the end of the project uh, or the mission of the project. And um, that's, that's my approach on architecture, and, but in general in everything I do. And of course, during my uh, study, I, I, I was uh, alerted by the story of some of the modern architects from Le Corbusier to uh, Philip Johnson or Richard Mayer or, or Joe Ponte, the Italian one, who really fascinated my idea of doing or my idea of approach of what I'm doing. I was working from design to the city, so that's my, my idea, my vision. A designer must uh, be open 360 degree of, uh, to, 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 to the world of architecture. And that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm li I like design residential because residential is the most intimate part of the, of, 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 uh, of, the, of the people. So when you create, homes, you create a space to occur people to create their, to protect themselves, to create their identity. So I think it's the most challenging part of, of architecture. So that, 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 that's my story so far. So I'm still uh, trying to alimentate my, my curiosity for life, for architecture, for everything. So my point of view is always from a, an architecture point of view. So anything I see, a movie or traveling or I see details everywhere. And that's my that's my point. So what my, my so I, if I have to advise for people to who watch this video or for young designer, student or anybody in general, I think the best is to follow your instinct, to follow your passion. Dedicate all your life to your passion. If you can apply this in, in what you do for live, because you have to work, is the best uh, thing in life. So thank you for watching this video and uh, goodbye.